we get a taco night every week, but it usually is on a Friday when we get together with friends. It's my husband inquired of me and humbly asked if we can move taco night to Tuesday night so we could have a taco Tuesday. <laughs> Welcome to Friday night. We're gonna cook some dinner. This is a recipe I got from Lisa at This Pilgrim Life. Uh, she has incredible recipes and you can hear my kids shushing each other in the background. <laughs> Normally Friday nights are like pizza nights or quesadilla nights or eat out nights, like super easy dinners. Um, but this has been a different kind of week and I was sick yesterday and did not cook anything. We had pizza last night. Um, so tonight I'm gonna make something to have a little bit more energy, but I'm gonna cook cook the the um, fillings in the instant pot and then we're gonna bake it to get the crust uh, ready to go in the um, in the oven, <laughs> whatever that word is. So all right, we got chicken pot pie. Woohoo. So I've made a chicken pot pie before, but I've never done one with bacon. And I thought doing Lisa's recipe with bacon was a great idea. Um, I did cook the chicken earlier in the Instant Pot so I could just chop it up and throw it in there. Her recipe called for thyme leaves, but I am not a fan of the thyme flavor. So I use oregano instead. This recipe also had eggs, hard boiled eggs in it. And I thought that sounded really good as well. So we're gonna try it with the hard boiled eggs. Now it's time to mix the dough. So I thought it'd be all cool and I would film it like I was a food blogger and pull out that really delicious piece of chicken pot pie. So there you go, it's delicious. Love this, can't wait to dig in. So this is our Friday dinner hour and a half later. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna eat. It's gonna be good. Guys, it's Thursday again, and I forgot to film all the other dinners. <laughs> I made dinners, I <laughs> planned for dinners, so. Um, I did film that uh, chicken pot pie dinner and then the weekend happened and then I totally, totally forgot to uh, film the rest of the dinner. So I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna share with you the dinners that I picked that I did make. Hey, if we haven't met yet, I'm Ashley and this is Joyful Noise Learning and I love to talk about Charlotte Mason inspired homeschool, love to talk about biblically based curriculum, affordable homeschool and just overall motherhood and homemaking things. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, please give me a like if you like this or consider subscribing. Also, this is a wonderful collab hosted by my friend Megan at Pennies and Salt. Oh, she is incredible. She is a wonderful homeschool mom who loves her family. She loves homemaking. Uh, she also has a large family. She talks about taking care of her handful of children as well. And um, so you'll definitely wanna go over and check her channel out, as well as the playlist with all uh, the other moms that are joining us for this collaboration. So I'm glad you're here. And then go check out the playlist for some more dinner ideas to do for your family. So the first meal I did was the chicken pot pie and I showed you that. Um, then on Sunday, the other meal I had planned was a hot ham and cheese sandwich. We just needed something simple after, after church and unfortunately one of my sons doesn't like the cheese and the ham so he opted for just the cheese but I was able to use just real quick use my griddle grill the cheese and the ham really quick and then we had that along with some fries that I bought from uh, a fast food chain. <laughs> I was in the mood for fries and I didn't want to make them. So I went through the drive-thru, grabbed some french fries, brought them home, and then we made the ham, hot ham and cheese sandwiches. So the next night, I was super, super prepared for this and I really, really wanted some taco soup. And I wanted something uh, that was mostly healthy, real food that I could cook in my Instant Pot. So I used the recipe here and you can check that out um, on Pinterest for sure. So the next day was Tuesday and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, my husband really wanted me to move taco 
dinner to Tuesday. And for some reason, we get a taco night every week, but it usually is on a Friday when we get together with friends. It's an easy meal to do for a lot of people. So I make tacos on a Friday or sometimes it just happens on a Thursday for some reason. But lately it doesn't happen on Tuesday, but my husband inquired of me and humbly asked if we can move taco night to Tuesday night so we could have a taco Tuesday. So yes, that is what we did this week. I I um, didn't plan for it, but I had everything except the meat. So I ran to the store, grabbed my pound of meat, and I made some simple tacos and everybody was happy. Okay, the next night was a Wednesday night. The other meals that I had on my list was pigs in a blanket or a shrimp pasta. And something happened that day where I just did not feel like cooking. I was really worn out from the time change happening and just trying to keep up with everything, you know. So it kind of hit me late in the afternoon that day. And by the time 5.30 rolled around and I knew I wanted to get dinner done as soon as we could, we had to go somewhere that night uh, at 6, 6.15. I didn't leave enough time to make pigs in a blanket because you need at least an hour to let the dough rest. So silly me. And then the shrimp I knew was gonna take a little longer than I wanted because I had to defrost the shrimp. So we went out and we got Burger King. <laughs> I grabbed my five-year-old, threw him in the van. Didn't really throw him, but yeah, we went, got in the van and went through the drive through to get some fast food and it was just a fast food night. I'm thankful we can do that. We had some money in the budget for it and we went for it. So <laughs> tonight will be the last time to film a meal. I think I'm gonna do the shrimp and pasta. So we like to do um, an Alfredo sauce with our shrimp and pasta. So, we're so I said I would do shrimp Alfredo I changed my mind and I'm doing shrimp pad thai. Sounded really good. I had the rice noodles and I had the shrimp and stuff and I decided instead of doing a dairy based cheesy sauce, we would do a soy sauce based sauce. So I made shrimp pad thai. <laughs> You may think that shrimp pad thai is kind of fancy, but it's really not. It's just like fried rice. Uh, but instead of rice, you have rice noodles. And um, it's just kind of like the sauce that you put. So I put a little bit of sugar, my um, liquid aminos, uh, green onions, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of garlic, and a um, little bit of uh, rice vinegar too. Um, but if you cook it just like you do chicken fried rice, and you just, and then you get pad thai. It seems kind of fancy, but it's really not that fancy. <laughs> All right, so thanks so much for joining me. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions or comments or you have some meals that you love to make that are quick and easy and feed your whole family, uh, leave those in the comments below. Let's chat about it. I wanna hear from you. Also, I've got some fun videos coming up. I'm gonna show how I like to do laundry if you need some tips on doing laundry while you're homeschooling. And the holidays are coming so quickly here. So we've got some holiday craft videos coming up as well um, as I have to finish my um, habit training and character training video um, for you guys. So if you have any ideas of content you want to see here, uh, let me know in the comments as well. I'd love to hear your input on if you like these kinds of videos, if you want to see more, or if you like other kind of videos and you want to see more of those. So thanks guys. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon.